So we are back with the crop out um, project. I'm going to just hide these bones in here. So I'm going to do a simulation just on his nose. Uh, I think it's quite funny. And just adding a little extra movement to it. Uh, to start, we need to have a plugin uh, loaded here. So if we search for chaos, it's chaos cloth is a new plugin. Um, and that's what we're going to be using here. So if we go back to our character, then we, let me just double check if there is no, yeah, I had a previously done uh, one cloth. So I will create a new clothing. Uh, so right click on the character and then create clothing data from section. Um, you can select a physics asset that this will help as a collider. Uh, to the cloth, but in this case, we we'll just create a new one. Um, I will just create as called nose, just so I know. Then, if I click again and I go apply closing data and I go to nose, it, nothing will happen because I need to paint this cloth and tell what is exactly going to activate. Um, again, this cloth settings, uh, you can go into a very deep uh, detail. I'm going to be brief on this uh, tutorial. So if I click here on the nose, then I'll have a new uh, mask in here. You can change the masks for many different things. Uh, so they all work as like layers and you can tweak like very specific areas and but the basic one basically is max distance and so the first one i normally do is max distance and then i can then work with the backstop which is uh how much of the cloth will go inwards and i also like to do the adding drive a little bit so you can create a mask to say this part is going to be uh fully driven by the animation this part will be uh driven by the cloth and you can play with those masks. In this example, we are just going to keep the max distance. And then what we'll do is that here we'll set as a brush and you can see there is already small my brush. So the radius here is five. And the value that I want to paint, I will actually go really low. So it's a, it's a you're painting a mask. So the values are from zero to 100 uh, being 100 full on influence and zero no influence. So I'll go very low and I'll go with five influence. Uh, I'll just, maybe I'll go a little bit more, 10. Uh, it will turn white when you're painting it, but because it's very low, it's not going like fully white. Uh, so I paint a little bit. And then what I like to do as well is just going here, going smooth, and now just smooth this around. So it gets a, a smooth finishing. And that's it. So if I go back here now, yeah, you can see that it's working. Uh, to make it easier to tweak these values and see if it's working or not, you can go to the previous scene um, settings. And I will just use an animation here so we'll, it will be easier to see when it moves, how it works. Uh, I'll just change the speed to 0 0.25. So you can see it's very dragging a lot. So if I go to the asset details and scroll down here to clothing, I'll just remove this is the previous one I had done. So I just remove this one. So in the nose one, I can then go and tweak all these values here. Uh, so for example, I can add density. Uh, I actually felt that working with the mass uh, worked a little bit better. Again, there are many things that you can tweak in here, stiffness, bending, um, collision. So you can increase the collision thickness or not. And there's some uh, gravity here. You can, for example, increase gravity or have no gravity or have 
negative drag gravity. Um, but what I'm going to tweak in here mainly is the animation uh, drive stiffness. So if you see, if, if I put the minimal as one, uh, it just is just fully driven by the animation. So I'll put 0 0.5. And if I put 0 0.9, then you can see there is a little bit of movement, uh, but it's not going super crazy. Let's see if I put 0 0.8, I think it's a bit too much. 8.5. Yeah, then it's up to you. If you're thinking about muscles, you normally wouldn't see the movement. Uh, so that's why I like... Uh, yeah, putting quite high values here, and it's just a very subtle um, movement here. So let's see other animations building. You can see there is a little bit of a, a jiggle. Um, oops, carry. I think it maybe it can be eight five or eight. Okay, I'll leave it eight because you can uh, kind of visualize. But yeah, you can just play with these values so you can see how you feel about it. And that's basically it. Um, that's your muscle <laughs> muscle deformation. Um, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.